Chicago teachers are returning to the classroom today after four days of cancellation sparked by the city's COVID policies. The Chicago Teachers Union voted to end their work action after finalizing a proposed agreement for employees. Teachers will vote on the new COVID policies this week with students returning to the classroom on Wednesday. More than 340,000 students missed five days of class because of the standoff between the teachers union and Mayor Lori Lightfoot. NBC News correspondent Megan Fitzgerald joins us now from Chicago with more. Megan, good morning to you. So what led to the end of this standoff and what are some of the new protocols that union members are going to be voting on? Joe, good morning. You know, this has been uh, two weeks, nearly two weeks now in the making, uh, a lot of back and forth. And, you know, it's, it's certainly a bit surprising that they've reached an agreement uh, because you, you'll remember just yesterday we heard from the president of the teachers union uh, who said that the mayor was being ridiculously uh, stubborn and relentlessly stupid, he said, uh, and that they were hitting a dead end. And so just last night they finally reached a deal. What this has always been about for the teachers union is safety. So they were calling for and what they have received um, is better quality masks that will be available inside schools. So we're talking about KN95 masks here. Um, also a metric system to be able to quantify how much virus is inside a school at any given time so that they can then trigger online learning. It sounds like they've reached an agreement there as well. Uh, and then they also wanted more testing inside schools and, and more rapid testing readily, readily available. And that is something that they got a commitment for uh, on the side of the city. And and the, the Chicago Public Schools. I want you to listen to what the vice president of the teachers union had to say. I would say um, testing is still a big deal. Um, I would say we need contact tracing at our school level. And then we need a metric. Um, this, this, this particular variant is, is contagious, very contagious. And we're going to have to know when it is safe to be inside the school community and safe not to be in the school community. After two days of school, we have countless classrooms that are shutting down because um, the vast majority of the people inside of the classroom um, have been close contacts to those who came back with COVID. So that is exactly what teachers have been saying since the very beginning of this. And as of this morning, it sounds like uh, they are pretty satisfied with the agreement that they have come to. So, Megan, so on the other side of this is the mayor, Lori Lightfoot. How is she responding to the return of teachers? So, you know, from the very beginning, Joe, as you know, the mayor has always said that she wants students and teachers back in class. And as of tomorrow, that's what's expected. So uh, the mayor seemingly pleased that she has met uh, the demands of what the teachers union wanted. Uh, the teachers union has sort of come to the table for what the mayor side wants. Uh, and so finally, they've reached an agreement and she's getting what she wants in terms of students back in the classroom, something the teachers union said they want too, but safely. Um, I want you to listen to what the mayor had to say. We know that this has been very difficult for students and families. Our goal throughout this entire process was to both get our students back to in-person learning as quickly as possible and prevent work disruptions for the rest of the school year. Switching completely back to remote learning again without a public health reason to do so would have created and amplified the social, emotional, and economic turmoil that far too many of our families are facing. And so teachers, teachers will report to the classroom today and starting tomorrow, students are expected to finally return to class, Joe. Megan Fitzgerald in Frigid, Chicago, giving us a little preview of our very next story. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.